When you see Excel 2007 for the first time, you can feel a little bit lost. Where is the menu bar? What is this new interface? Let me introduce you to the new features and tools that make up the Excel 2007 workspace. The first feature I'd like to talk about is up here in the upper left hand corner. This is your office button. If you click it once, it will expand down into a menu that offers many of the commands that were previously available to you through the file menu in previous releases of Excel. Notice that some of these commands have a little triangle off to the right of them. This indicates that there are other commands associated with that main command, such as for the print menu, you can now choose to print, quick print, or print preview. We will be using the Office button quite a bit throughout the remainder of this course. To the right of the Office button is the Quick Access Toolbar. And as its name implies, it is where you can quickly access commonly used commands and options of Microsoft Excel. By default, it is set up with a Save option, a Undo option, a redo option, as well as this little button over here allows you to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. You can add any of the commands, options, and features that you use commonly in your work within Excel. We will be customizing our toolbar later in this course. This is your title bar right up here and it provides the name of the workbook that you are working on in Excel. To the right of that you have your Minimize, maximize and close buttons for closing, minimizing, and maximizing Excel. Below this we have our ribbon and we have briefly touched upon the ribbon up to this point but the ribbon is comprised of tabs that when you click a tab allow you access to many of the commands, tools, and options that are relevant to that tab such as for the insert tab you can insert a pivot table, a table, pictures, clip art, shapes, smart art, columns, different chart types, hyperlinks, text boxes, header footer, word art, etc. And again, we will be using the ribbon throughout the remainder of this course. Now to the right of the ribbon, and also part of the ribbon, you have your Microsoft Excel help button for accessing help in Excel, as well as you can minimize, maximize, or close your Excel workbook that you are working on. Below the ribbon we have the formula bar and the formula bar allows you to create your formulas through either typing in your information or through functions. We'll be using this feature quite a bit throughout the remainder of the course. Below the formula bar you have your workbook. By default a workbook is comprised of three worksheets. You have sheet 1, sheet 2, in sheet 3. And if you click upon these sheets, you can easily switch between them. Each worksheet is comprised of columns and rows. And where the column and row intersect, you have a cell. And within each cell, you type your information. You also have scroll bars that allow you to scroll vertically as well as horizontally through your worksheet. Below the workbook and worksheet area, you have your status bar. Now the status bar provides information on what you are doing or the status of Excel as you work through Excel. You also have off here to the right different page views. Right now by default you are in the normal page view but you can quickly switch to the page layout by clicking the page layout button or to page break preview by clicking the page break preview button. You also can change your zoom of how you're looking at your Excel workbook. You can zoom in quickly by grabbing the slider and dragging it either left or right for zooming in or out. Or if you click the plus button, you can zoom in. Or if you click the minus, you can zoom out 10% at a time. All of these features make up your Excel workspace.